Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video we're gonna be dyeing my hair UV Neon Rainbow and I'm trying a new brand today. I'm really, really excited to try them. The brand I'm trying is Cosmic Void Hair Color. So one of you guys suggested this brand to me and they are a super, super small business. They have like 300 followers on Instagram. So they are a super small owned business. So I'm really excited to like bring some light to their hair dye because it seems really cool. Like I said, their shades are UV reactive and they are extremely neon. So I will leave a link to them in the description down below in case you guys want to go browse. They're also super affordable. It's only $7.99 for a packet of their hair color. So I went ahead and purchased all the rainbow shades. On top of using a new hair dye brand, I'm also doing a new pattern on my hair and I've never done rainbow hair with this haircut before because I have never had this haircut before with this many layers. It's going to be so different than anything I've done before. Now when I have rainbow hair, you're gonna be able to see all of the different layers of color peek through and it's gonna look so awesome. Before we get into the video, I just wanna mention my eyeshadow palette is on sale for $22. They're getting low in stock and I'm really trying to sell them out. So if you wanna help support me and get a really cool eyeshadow palette, I will leave this linked in the description down below. Here's what the inside looks like. We have vibrant colors, we have duochromes, we have naturals, we have two different highlighters with different tones. They can also be used as eyeshadow. I swatched some of the duochromes on my hands. They are just so wet. And the green shade in here, if you love Halloween and you're a little golf girly, let me tell you, the green in this palette is so good. This is a green and the undertone is purple. So it is a purple to green duochrome shift. So pretty and this looks so good on top of black lipstick. All of these duochrome shades have that different shift to them and they all look so good on top of a black lipstick. So if you wanna help your girl out and try and sell these out so we can release some new things, I will leave a link in the description down below. Let's go ahead and run through all the colors I got from Cosmic Boyd. I am not gonna be able to pronounce these cause hey, okay, I might not be the smartest um, thing in the thing, but um, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce them. So I'm gonna let you guys do that. Here's the first shade I got. Now they do have a lot of different variations in each color. So like there was a couple orange options, there was a couple green options. So I just tried to choose the one that I thought was like the most true UV neon rainbow. So this is the first color I got. It is a super, super hot pink. This looks absolutely insane. Cannot wait to put that on my hair. The next one I have is this one, Sodalite. I think that's what this one's called. Here's this one. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm not even gonna try, but it's super, super neon yellow. This one's Uranium. I, in fact, do know how to say that. So here's this one. I love the packaging. I love it's a pouch. It's easy to squeeze out. And also, I love the holographicness on the front. Here's the blue color I got. And then here is the purple. I also went ahead and got some of their conditioner that they offer in case I wanna dilute a couple of these shades. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them straight out of the pouch to see what they look like. I think I might dilute the blue and the purple cause they're a little bit darker than what I personally would like, but they're really close. So I might just add a little bit of conditioner in there. They also sent over a little pouch with some goodies in here. So I'm gonna show these to you guys. So here's their little card. Super cute. Then they also gave me a little perfume sample. This is coconut eggnog, a little cute body spray. And they also included a little alien. How cute is he? We'll put him back here. So Cosmic Void hair color is cruelty free and vegan. And it also has like a bunch of nourishing properties in the hair color that's gonna be nourishing for your hair. Let's go ahead and take off the tape, you guys. This is killing me. I've had these for like a while and I have not even opened them yet. They all have tape over the top, which is nice, so that way they don't open during shipping. I'm so curious what they smell like, because you guys know I'm a big smell girl, so we gotta open these up and smell them. I'm gonna open the conditioner and smell it first. Okay, here we go. Okay, very light. Ooh, it smells good, it smells really good. It's very, very light. I don't know if that's just a conditioner. Let's smell one of the dyes. Let's do the pink one, let's see. It's a very, very light smell, but it smells really good. It smells like a bowl of Halloween candy. That's what it smells like to me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring these into their bowls right here, and then we're gonna swatch them. I'm not the biggest fan of the orange. I actually don't know if I'm even gonna put this on my hair. I think I'm gonna have to add something to it because it's just a little bit too yellow for me and I don't wanna like ruin the rainbow. Here's what the orange looks like, and it's very, very yellow. Like if I hold this up, 
and I'm looking at it through here, it looks yellow. So I'm probably gonna wind up adding a darker orange into that because I want, if I'm gonna go through all of the effort of dyeing my hair and it's gonna take me like an hour or two to place all these colors, I wanna like the colors a lot. And that orange is nice, but I do want it to be more of a real orange instead of like a pumpkin-y yellow. All right, you guys, you ready to see the swatches? Absolutely beautiful. I am gonna dilute the blue a tiny bit and I'm gonna dilute the purple just a tiny bit, not very much. And I'm gonna go in my stash and try and find an orange that has a little bit more of a red undertone to try and make it more of a true orange. Like I said, this is just way too yellow. It kind of reminds me of Eero Eero's um, neon orange. It's more of like a yellowy orange. All right, here are the final swatches, you guys. Here's what they look like. I am so much happier with that orange. It looks so much better. These are literally my ideal perfect rainbow colors. Let me show you that orange compared to this one. So this one over here is the Cosmic Voids. Again, just has too much of that yellow for me. This is the one that I mixed up. Still super neon, but it definitely has a punchier undertone to it. Because my haircut, I'm gonna try and work with the color scheme to go really well with my haircut. So I'm wanting to see the variation of color fall throughout my hair um, with all the different layering back here. Like I want this to be a different color than this. So like all the rainbow colors peek out. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna do a super, super heavy diagonal back like this. So that way I'm not doing like straight stripes, but I'm also not doing horizontal. That way, as this goes up my head, you're gonna see all the different colors pop through more at a diagonal like this. Hope that makes sense. It will make sense as we go along. I'm also not gonna section before I go. I'm literally just gonna go for it and I'm planning on using foil, maybe like putting foil in between each of the colors. Okay, this is what I'm thinking. It's diagonal, but it's almost horizontal so we can get a lot of different color in there. I'm hoping the foil will make the process a little bit quicker. I'm gonna outline it real quick. You guys, here we go. Are we ready? I don't think we're ready, you guys. It's like, will I even remember how to do this anymore? Guess we're gonna find out. I wanna take thin enough sections so I don't have to worry about working the color into the hair. So what I think I wanna do is then fold this down, then I'll bring down the next piece of hair and then repeat it. So like, I'm just gonna bring down the next piece of hair on top of this foil, paint it on there, and the next section I'll bring down a new piece of foil so that way each individual like hair strand is separated. And it's gonna make the process a lot quicker because I don't have to sit there, work in the product, wipe off my hands, work in the product, wipe off my hands, switch colors. Like I'm hoping this is gonna make things go a lot faster. So I'm just starting with the pink and then I'm working my way up. I'm not really focusing on where each color is going to lay on my hair according to like my face. I'm not worried about pink being in the front and then orange. Like normally I try to have pink framing all along my hairline. This time I was more worried about placing the hair color. That way it worked well with my hair cut. I really didn't care about if yellow was framing my face or if it was gonna be blue. I just wanted the colors to lay, lay nicely with my haircut. So this hair color reminded me a lot of Eero Eero. I would say the formulation is nearly identical. I loved Eero Eero's formulation. It just like glides into the hair very, very easily. Minimal effort, it just works into the hair very, very seamlessly. You guys know I stopped using Eero Eero a little while ago, a couple years ago, because I kept repurchasing colors that I used to love and the formulation was totally different. Like the grays would be blue instead of gray or like the pink would be a different shade of pink than it was before. And I just felt like there was a lot of inconsistency with the shades and they were like changing them. Um, so yeah, I stopped using them a while ago, but if you love Eero Eero, but you were also like annoyed that you never got the same shade that you got last time, definitely, definitely check out Cosmic Void because the formulation is nearly identical. I absolutely loved the formulation and how easily it just melted into the hair. I will say it does transfer a little bit easier than a dye that has a little bit more of a conditioning consistency. Some dyes, when you work it into the hair, it becomes like white and has like a white casting on it. That really helps to prevent bleeding when you're doing multiple colors. With this, I didn't ever get that white white conditioning frothiness once I worked the color into the hair, which when you don't have that, it is easier for colors to transfer on other sections of the hair. So it is a little bit harder to work with in that aspect. You have to be really careful to try and not touch different colors to different sections. But other than that, the formulation was really easy to work with. The colors are super, super vibrant. 
The only other thing I didn't like was these do bleed a lot. Like they bled a lot more than normal semi-permanent colors I've used in the past, like Lunar Tides, um, when I went to rinse them. And I used really cold water and they still bled a lot more, especially the pink than other semi-permanent colors. And the last thing I'll say is I wish I would have left the purple and blue alone and not diluted them at all because I've washed my hair and swam and the purple faded really quickly. So I think I should have kept the purple and blue alone and not diluted them, even the slightest. I should have just left them the way they came. Okay, well that was a lot more difficult than I I thought it would be. It looks really cool back there. So now I'm gonna go through the front of my hair and I'm going to work through the color on each section because I already know it's not gonna be saturated from just me putting it in the foils. I need to take out the foils and run my fingers through each section and make sure it's saturated, especially if I'm spending all this time doing the work. I wanna make sure that everything goes smoothly. So that's what we're gonna do real quick. I'm just gonna go ahead, go through and make sure to have each section saturated really well. I'm just gonna work my way and I'm gonna lay all the hair back as I go. This is probably, I'm not even kidding you, the easiest color to work in the hair. I don't know if I have ever experienced an easier dye that just goes into the hair so well. Like literally the color just falls right into the hair and blends in so effortlessly. It just like melts straight into the hair. I absolutely love the formulation of this dye. It took me a lot longer to do the back than the front because I did not know what I was doing. I was like staring at it like, what am I gonna do? Like I had to think about it because I did not have a plan at all for the back part. I had a pretty good plan for the front, but um, did not have a good plan for the back. So it took me a minute to figure out what I was gonna do back there. And I wound up taking thicker sections than what I would have liked to take just because it was a lot of work to try and take small sections back there. I'm just really, really hoping it turns out well at this point. I'm nervous about rinsing, but I'm gonna make sure and use really cold water. See, like right there's a little spot. The only thing so far that I'm not loving about the dye is that it stains the gloves really badly. So whenever you're transitioning from pink to orange to yellow, the pink stained my gloves really badly. So when I get to the yellow color, I put the yellow on my gloves and then the color kind of turns more of like a orangey yellow instead of neon because my gloves are stained pink. So then when I'm rubbing the yellow in to the hair with my gloves that are stained pink, the color kind of turns like orangey. There's one section on the back that I didn't realize that was happening. So I wish I would have changed my gloves in between that section, but thankfully I realized it. And so these other sections like this front one and the other parts should not be messed up. And I did use almost all of the pouches of color. So if you have hair that's any longer than mine, definitely get more than one pouch. I feel like I haven't done this in such a long time. I'm just hoping that I did a good job. And I also, like I have never done rainbow hair with yellow in the front. So I'm a little nervous about how this is gonna look with the yellow framing my face instead of it being like pink and orange. But I think it's gonna look pretty cool with yellow starting out. So, I mean, we're gonna find out how cool it looks. So the instructions don't say like to leave it on for a certain amount of time. It just says like whatever desired time you want to leave it on. So I'm probably gonna leave this on for like 45 minutes just because it's a new color line. I wanna make sure and like really give it a chance to soak into the hair. All right, here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and let this process 45 minutes. Rinse using cold, cold water because I definitely do not want it to bleed on each other. So I'm gonna rinse using cold water and I'll be right back once my hair is blow dried and we'll see if it turned out good or if it looks like absolute shit. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'll see you in two seconds. Well, hi, we're back. My hair is freaking insane. This, I honestly, I think this is the coolest hair I've ever done which is saying a lot because I've done a lot of rainbow, but because of my haircut right now and how vivid this color is, the placement is perfect. It looks so cool with this haircut. Look at these colors. I've never done like yellow and green around my face, so it's different, but I absolutely love it. And all the layering makes it look so freaking cool. Wait till I spin around and show you guys the back. Look at all the colors. Let me spin around because the back is absolutely insane. You guys, look at the back. I literally look like a freaking jawbreaker. Like, 
Look at this, I can't. Like, it's so freaking cool. This hair is amazing and it's so insanely vibrant and pigmented. My hair literally looks like a jawbreaker. Look at how cool this is, you guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. This color is absolutely insane. I did just get back from the bathroom where I took my UV lights to see what this looks like. You guys are not ready for this. I'm gonna insert the footage here for you. All right, here you guys go. Look how cool it is, you guys. Literally, like, all of the colors glow. And I even mixed the orange with colors that were not UV reactive. Let me spin around and I'll show you the back. Okay, here's the back. Isn't this so cool? Honestly, could possibly be the coolest hair I've ever done. There it is. In the UV, baby. This dye is legit UV reactive. Insanity. So cool. Isn't that crazy? Like every single color is UV reactive and I even like mixed up the orange and it's still UV reactive. The only thing I will say about this is it bled a lot when I was rinsing, which obviously it's super, super neon and UV. So of course you're gonna get some sort of bleeding, but I do feel like this dye bled more than Manic Panic, Lunar Tides, like other neon shades that I've used. I just think it's because it's packed with so much pigment and vibrancy, you're gonna get some sort of bleeding. I used freezing cold water and I, it was still bleeding a bunch. Specifically, the pink color was like the main problem child. Like the pink was just insane. I honestly thought there would be no yellow left. I was like, great, all the yellow in my hair is about to be orange. But even though it bled, it did not bleed onto any of the yellow. All the colors are still very vibrant and individual. I am just in love with how this turned out and honestly, probably my favorite hair I've ever done. I just love the placement. I love my haircut now. Like this color made me love my haircut so much more. And I am just like so excited to have this hair now. If you are doing rainbow hair and you're gonna buy from Cosmic Void, I would definitely get the red orange and the orange and mix them together or just throw in a little bit of a darker orange, mix it in with the orange that they offer because I don't think it would have been as vibrant for the orange if I wouldn't have added a little bit in there. But other than that, the colors are literally perfect. They did such a good job on the packaging, on the color scheme. The formulation is seamless. It just melts into your hair. It's also UV reactive. Link to that will be in the description down below. Make sure you go follow them on Instagram. Show them some love. Like I said, they only had 300 followers on Instagram when I found them. So let's go give them some love because I think that their hair color line definitely deserves it. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Just a reminder, go grab this palette while it's still available. Absolutely gorgeous, you guys. And if you're going to dye your hair rainbow, it's a perfect palette to have. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.